All right, all right, Michael Lauder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you DIY types how to stretch on a bedroom of carpet so you can do it yourself and attempt to save some money. So check this out. We got the carpet all laid out here. I have other videos showing how to do this if uh, you need some strategies to avoid destroying your walls and things like that. And then after this, I'll show you how to burn your doorway seams. There's actually a closet seam in this room too. You can see it over there. I'll show you after we stretch the room on how to seam on the additional piece of carpet for the closet and how to stretch that on and get it tight as well. So roll with me on this. So you're gonna need your carpet kicker. And if you don't have one, try and find one used off eBay or you can rent them from Home Depot. We're gonna use a stair tool. You could also use a hook knife. I usually actually prefer hook knives, but in this video, we're gonna use a stair tool and a regular razor knife. So check this out. We have our starting wall here, and I'm just gonna crease this on. Now on different types of carpets, you may wanna actually kick on your set wall lightly just to get the pins into the backing. But uh, with this type of carpet, it's real easy to crease it on and have it stick into place. So this is creased on nice and tight. You can hear that grinding. That's the pins going through the backing of the carpet holding it in place. Now, check that out. That's the wall back there that we just creased on. Now we're gonna do the wall directly across. I'm gonna start at one end here, and I'm gonna work my way right down to you. I'm basically moving the kicker head, just kicker head space, and it's about an inch away, inch to two inches away from the wall. So when I kick, the goal is to just push the carpet right onto the tack strips and get it to lock on with that stretch. All right, so check this out here. Let me see if I can get a close up for you. You see the kicker head? See where I'm placing it? About one inch, two inches from the wall. Kick it on. Move it to kicker head space over. Kick it on. And that's it. And we're gonna come down here. Get you a better view. There we go. This one's gonna act as another set one for us. But I just wanna tap this one on a little bit. I don't wanna get too crazy with it. The goal here is to just lock this one onto the texture. Follow me onto this end of the room. This is our last wall. This is a little tiny room too. This is roughly um, 10 by 12 size room, so nothing crazy. That's why I figured it'd be perfect for the DIY types. You have a small extra bedroom or office in your house that you wanted to carpet yourself. This would be a good way to do it. This one's gonna kick on a little bit harder. Just get it nice and tight. way down to you. you also want to make sure it's creased on really well so when you go to trim the carpet in it doesn't come off with the tack strip I'm going to show you in the next video how to trim with just using a razor knife because some guys use wall trimmers if you're a DIY type you're not dropping $60 on a wall trimmer you're going to use a razor knife so in the next video I'm going to show you how to do that be sure to subscribe, check the links below the video, and I'll see you shortly.